I tried to explain, I mean, there's a whole chapter on this, like, just get it, right? She wants to know that you just get it. She wants to know that you can play the game. She wants to know that you can socialize. She wants to know that you know how a woman, you know, b- before she thinks of something, that you already thought of that. I want a guy who's going to open the door for me and treat me like a woman. And what happened to chivalry? She's done a whole thing on chivalry. Well, that chivalry is a guy just getting it in your sense. Oh, he opened the door for me like a gentleman. Yeah, because he just gets it. What would happen if this happened, right? Oh, he would go, okay, Jedediah, we're going on a date. Good, good. Now, I'm going to open the door for you, and you're going to think of me as a gentleman. Got it? Okay. I'm explaining the game to you. I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm going to be an old school chivalrous man. And here I'm opening the door for you. Does that work for you? You're, you're, what that is, is the observe effect. Observing a process changes the process. It's different if the guy goes, yes, my lady, I'm a good Southern gentleman, just like Justin Well, and I open it all for you. And here's you into the car, my lady. Da, 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 right? And I have expectations as a result of that. He knows how to play the game. He's not going, okay, now I'm going to open the door. Now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to be what you want me to be. Chivalry, got it. I'm, I'm all about it. Here we go. Open the door, pay for the date, do all this stuff. But I'm, I'm telling you as I'm doing this, because I don't want there to be any, any no uncertain terms. But if I just do that as who I am, I just get it. That's the fucking game. That's it. I understand how to play your game. In this case, maybe chivalry is something that's, oh, I've never had that before. How come men don't approach me? Well, when a guy does and he just gets it, that's that, but you're wrapped up in that fantasy. But if that guy comes to you and goes, all right, I met you on Tinder and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick you up at eight. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And here's, you got a checklist and bullet points. And here's my, here's my Excel spreadsheet. And this is what we're going to do. And I realize that's an extreme example, but that's really what it breaks down to. That's a guy who doesn't get it. He thinks he does because it's, uh, he's talking about the game. He's exposing the game. And that's when you talk to a woman about the red pill, that's what you are doing. And I pointed this out in my first essays about this is, uh, you know, it's, I think it was called the secret of the red pill. And guys have constantly asked me since then, should I talk about the red pill to women? And I've always said, not the ones you want to fuck. Now I'm going to tell you, even the ones you don't, don't bother. You know why? Because you get to the point of diminishing returns with them. You think you're educating them. You're not educating them. They just think of you as like some literalist spurg. They think of you as a guy who doesn't get it. And what's the worse is she's going to tell her girlfriends that you don't get it. That you're, you're, a, you're a Excel spreadsheet guy. You're the gamma male. Why is it that women say they feel an uncontrollable urge to punch a gamma male in the face? Because what that guy is doing is he's explaining the game and his game is explaining the game. It's like, I'm the best. Uh, I'm clearly the best choice for you because I'm chivalrous. I'll pay for the date. I'm in, I, I, I'm, I'm family minded. I go to church on Sundays. I got a good job. I got all this stuff. I got everything that you want. I got a good car. I, I, I come from a good family. I do all this stuff. I'm laying it down for you uh, all on my first date. And here's my spreadsheet about why I'm the best choice for you. I'm the perfect boyfriend. And you know what she says? Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to have anything to do with that. And I don't care where, and maybe the older she gets, maybe she can appreciate that, but there's no magic to it. There's no emotional association because you're going with all logic. You're going with all rationality. Here's my list of value added qualities. I might not be as good looking as the giga chat in this foam cannon party, but I'm a much better choice than he is. And because you think that open communication and rational list making of all the great things that I have is in some way going to convince you to be intimate with me, fuck me, and go off into starting a family with me, I'm going to go and give you all of these bullet point checks lists, okay? He doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. He doesn't, and it, and it has to be explained. I'm, I'm the one, like the, one of the reasons why women get pissed off at me is because I'm the guy explaining this to them. And if masculinity and game and red pill, if it has to be explained to a guy, women don't want to have anything to do with that guy because he just doesn't get it. And the worst is he's trying to convince her to get past the hypergamous filter with all of these bullet point checklists and all the, all the things that he thinks that women find attractive. He is, what do you find attractive ladies? Okay. I want to be funny. He's got a little puppy dogs. He's got to want kids. He's got to have a good job. He's got to uh, come from a good family. He's got to have a car. He's got to have this. He's got to have that. And the guy goes, fine. Got it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got all this stuff ready to get me. Will you marry me? No. Absolutely not. Why? Because you did that. 
It has to be something that comes out. It has to be something that is discovered. That's why I said like the bachelor and the bachelorette and shows like that love Island, whatever the fuck it is. I who even knows what it is these days. The reason why those sort of like contrived scripted uh, dating shows are popular is because it appeals to women's want to find out for themselves. If the guy is funny, loves his mom, does all this other stuff and, and everything, instead of him having to bluntly go and say, here's well, here's my laundry list of value added. The fact that he does that is observing a process and changing the process. The process is she has to have some sort of emotional association. And that you don't, you, guys never, there's not a guy on planet earth that has ever reasoned a woman into bed. There's not a guy on planet earth that has ever virtued a woman into bed. They've seduced them. They've made emotional connections. They've certainly been arousing to them. So the same night lay is not about like logic. It's about arousal. It's about her being in the right place at the right time. You saying the right things and you, she thinks you just get it. And you know why they get upset when the next morning they discover you're actually a sandwich artist and not the, uh, the attorney that you build yourself to be is because she thought you got it. She thought she, her ship had come in. She thought she had figured it out on her own, but she didn't. And now she's like, holy shit, he's a sandwich artist. Uh, uh, hello, HR. <laughs> You know, that's that's why that that's such a, a fear. It's an existential fear of women is to be tricked into mating with a guy who is actually a beta, but she thought was alpha the night before. And so just explaining that even to women that you don't plan to sleep with, just explaining that it gives away the game. It is it is talking about the game, explaining the game, explicate. Remember, I said demonstrate, do not explicate. That's what this comes back down to. You're not demonstrating. You're explicating it for him. And the explication is never game. She gets really pissed off at this because she's at a point right now where it's like, well, we just got to put everything on the line. And then just, I got to figure out if you're authentic or you're not authentic. And just why are we, why are we trying to, the reason why it's upsetting to her that a guy might try to like trick her or play the guy. I'm not saying guys should be inauthentic. Please do have that. You know, if you have a muse mastery, it's much better if you to have, or it's much easier, I should say, to have the mastery you know, to, to, to use that, to be amused. If you have the actual mastery, if you actually have authenticity behind that, but even if you do, she still has to discover that for herself. You can be the most authentic. You might be Jason or Justin Waller. You got all this money and you got all this shit and women love you and they're fucking dropping their panties and everything else. You could actually be the real deal. But if you're like, okay, here's how it's going to go. We're going to do this, 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 here's my laundry list of things that you're still talking about. This still might fuck you. But the idea she's not going to fuck you or want to have you as much is if she figures it out on her own. It's the process. Serving the process changes the process.